This is a discipline-specific, upper-level communication course. It involves professional standards. Professional standards include how to do referencing, how to do citations, how to do figures permissions, how to uh, write a proposal for a grant. If you're in science, how to format a, a paper according to the scientific format. It involves how to put together a PowerPoint presentation, how to communicate orally. There are lots of aspects that we want you to get out of these courses, and the best way to do it is to take the course. The vast majority of students satisfy GUR by taking an approved course. The courses have to be certified, and we have a list both on the GAPE site and on the graduate study site, and it will tell you all of the courses in every program that have been certified as GUR fulfilling courses. You need to take one of those. Whichever one is set for your program, some programs have a, a whole series of them that one can choose from. Some programs have a course that they require absolutely every one of their students to take, no matter what, whether you have a waiver or not. Most programs will say, if you, have a, a, if you can get a waiver, then you won't have to take that course. To get a waiver is not easy. There are three different ways. The first way actually is kind of easy. If you have a bachelor's degree from a CSU, it means you took a course called 100W, and 100W satisfies the GUR at the graduate level. So you won't have to do it. The second way you can get a waiver is if you have a peer-reviewed publication in which you are the sole author, or a thesis. And it has to be a master's thesis or a PhD thesis. It can't be an undergraduate thesis and you have to be the sole author on that. If you have that, you just send me a link that says, you know, here's where you find it, here's where it's published in, in a library at such and such a university. I'll look it up, see that you've done it, and you would then get a waiver. The third way is the way many people choose to go, and it is if you took a course at your university, non-CSU university, that you think is equivalent, comparable, to a 100W course here. If it covers approximately the same things, most of the important things, and has enough writing in it, and you got at least a B in it, then you would go to your advisor and provide your advisor with the evidence. We need syllabus, we need transcripts, we need probably some writing samples from that class. Now, your advisor will determine whether he or she thinks that it is equivalent. If he or she does, it will be sent to me, and I'm the final arbiter. 